Hello, my beautiful Gemini Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your February 1st through 15th, 2023 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That like button is very important to YouTubers. This allows us to be in the algorithm and puts our videos up in the front and center. So I thank you in advance for all of that. And you can become a member by pushing the join button below. It will entitle you to additional readings that come in for members only. And they have meditations and different kinds of affirmations as well. So check that out. See if you might want to join that. It also supports me. Thank you so much in advance. And we'll move right on into the energy of what's going to happen for my Gemini friends. And boy, is this a good one. We've got the energy of financial support, abundance, and security. This is the king of pentacles. This is a fully charged energy of being fully formed in the energy of financial support. Whether it's someone supporting you or you supporting yourself, this is a very grounded energy and very stable. He's also known as King Midas. And that's what my guides call him, King Midas. So we have the magician, and not in the literal sense, but that's just their nickname. We have the magician, which is the master manifester. It is the number one card in the tarot. So you have the fool as the zero, and this is the next card, the magician. So we start off in the energy of pulling in divine light directly into that crown chakra, holding it in your heart, creating the orb of green light activated, and moving the objects of the, these are the four suits, the rods, the cups, the swords, and the pinnacles in the energy of the heart chakra. As you can see, the light that it is moving them, it is green. That is your heart chakra. So allow yourself to be in that energy and you'll be able to move forward in your manifestation of this abundance. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. Divine Spirit, Resurrection Energy, Archangel Gabriel. This is the card of restoring, renewal, something coming back around for another opportunity that you thought was off the table. And here it comes, returning. So, another opportunity at something you wanted. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these messages and beautiful blessings, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Here we go, Gemini. Let's see what we've got. crack a -lack and Ooh, we're not going to waste any time. Right out of the chute, lightning strike energy, very fast, out of the blue. This can be a, it's a job or someone you previously worked for calling you, letting you know about it. This is someone contacting you very fast. It's very fast, lightning strike energy. And you're ready. You're like, okay, I'm ready to take advantage of what this is because I'm ready to plant what I've completed. I've just finished something else and I'm ready to make a change because you're facing the future with a new rod in your hand. So that's new action taking place. So that's just right on time with that beautiful fast moving lightning strike knight of swords. Now we've got the high priestess, which we're in the energy of surrendering and allowing and receiving. When we're in this energy, we're following our higher guidance and listening to that intuition so that we can be brought to the place where we're supposed to be without trying to decide it for ourselves. We are now in the energy of focused intention. Remember that master manifester. You already put out to the universe what you wanted. Now you have to surrender and allow it to take you there. It is definitely about what you previously had either desired to do and couldn't or something happened and in in, that it didn't work out quite right. It doesn't have to be that exact position or that exact thing. It can be something very similar, but it's putting you in the place of being restored for whatever the goal was that you had previously. We have the Five of Wands. So this is a little bit of inner conflict. It can even be family squabbling. It's nothing major. It's just a pain in the patoot. Somebody getting on your last nerve. That's all. Just overcome it. Move on. It's not a big deal. 
it's it's just more of a nuisance. Now we have the Libra Major Arcana, the Justice card. This is where we don't allow that little squabble there to break our focus. She's got the cover on her eyes because she doesn't need to see the reality that she's already created. She's manifesting something new. So her vision has to be kind of restricted for this realm because you, you when you're looking at something you're going I'm creating abundance I'm creating abundance I'm creating abundance and we're looking at this reality and it's not there and we're creating abundance and it's not there and we're creating so we're affirming that it's not there when you cover your eyes in other words go within and not use your human eyes but visualize it within your own psychic ability and and really see the outcome then you're creating something in a place that is going to start to materialize in the now. But you're not, you know, pushing against what you see in front of you because our eyes are only limited to what's actually in physical form. It doesn't mean that it's not there energetically. So energetically is what we're going for here. This also means right decisions being made by you and for you. Now we have the Queen of Wands. This is boss lady energy. This is being in charge. So whether you're in charge of your household or your own business, this is absolutely being the boss. You know, making sure the decisions are made, making sure the actions are taken, making sure the appointments are kept, all of that good stuff. Ooh, we have the beautiful Cancer Major Arcana, the Chariot. This is a very fast-moving energy, and it is the energy of success. It means upgrade in all things. Physically, emotionally, financially, everything is getting better and better every day in every way. And there's that King of Pentacles. So he does talk about that financial security showing up here. Remember, we had it at the beginning, and there it is again. And you've got choices to make, whichever choice you make. Don't think of it as a right and wrong answer. Both answers are equal in their correctness. They will come out very close to the same result. However, the journey will be just a little different. So let yourself choose what you feel is right. This is one of those rare moments in life where you get to make a choice that doesn't depend on anybody else's opinion. So it's all about you. It will be okay no matter which way you choose. We have the Death card, Scorpio Major Arcana, also known to me affectionately as the Cosmic Garbage Man. As he comes through, he clears and purges all toxic energy and gives you a clean slate to begin with this beautiful magnolia blossom as a symbol of rebirth and renewal. So we love that as it comes in and gets rid of all toxic junk. And for our clarifiers, there's that little kerfuffle carrying on. You got that little bit of little stuff happening. This is nothing. It's a pain in the neck. Yes, you may get upset, but don't let yourself buy into it because they're really no challenge for you. You will overcome it in no problem. They're just trying to stall you. So just see it as a little small nuisance and move on. Don't take it personal. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine Guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. We have the Four of Pentacles. This is the miser. This is the ability to hold on to cash. So money in the bank, being able to save, not spending everything you earn. So guaranteed money in the bank and financial security coming in with that flash of that lightning. That beautiful Knight of Swords is coming in to bring you that. Now, it's reminding you, before you step out into this, make sure you ground yourself, focus, set, take some time for you. Allow yourself to do the self-care needed. Right? We didn't talk about self-care back in, in whenever I was younger. That was something we just forged onward till we ran out of gas. Well, guess what? That's not the way things go correctly. That's when your body starts to do weird things like give you high blood pressure and diabetes and, you know, all of that good stuff that comes along with ignoring your body. So please take good physical care. 
Get yourself in a routine. Eat fresh, live food, not processed food. Allow yourself to be in a place of setting up a regimen of making sure that you are taking care of yourself in the best way possible so that you can achieve all of these wonderful things and enjoy them. Hello, because you're about to have a big, wonderful thing right here. So you see, you've got your high priestess. And she's in the place of surrender and allowing, right? Surrender, allow, and receive. There's the energy of you, yes, from the universe for what your soul's desire is. The star card, the Aquarius Major Arcana, the connection to your higher self and ascension energy. So beautiful confirmation with the high priestess and the star card together. Solid. And the resurrection energy of something that is taking root, this looks like a new job. So if you've been hired on for as a contract person and you're a temporary employee, this may turn you into a real employee, into a solid, confirmed employee. So this is the energy of something taking root and now flourishing in the resurrection energy. And it also may be a job opportunity that's coming back around. And this can also stand for a relationship because it is about the passion of it. So there you have a brand new beginning with that resurrection card, bringing in something that's going to be very solid and grounded. Now we've got the king of pentacles again. So whatever the money, it's usually a money problem <laughs> when you've got this squabbling energy and then the king of pentacles. So whatever it is, it's a, it might be a little squabble about money, but it's no big thing. You're in the energy of being very anchored and secured. So don't worry about that. You're getting information from the divine for whatever it is that you need it for, whether it's instructions on how to proceed or an opportunity that's available to you. You're, you will be told, I call this little page, the informer. So he is coming to tell you what's, what's what. Now we have the queen of pentacles. So you've got this beautiful queen of wands, which is the boss lady energy, entrepreneurial energy. We've got the masculine and the feminine of the grounded energy of abundance. So these two coin people, the queen and king of coins or pentacles, are the energy of the earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are also influence in this energy. We have soul family, the six of cups in your career and finance. What a beautiful way to, to, to have that go down because this means you are in the company of people who are part of your tribe. This means you feel very comfortable and very welcomed in that energy in your career and finance area. There's the resurrection energy another time. So this is definitely showing you being brought back around and restored and renewed in your financial abundance and your ability to remain stable. And this offer that's coming in is definitely from divine. You see the hand of the universe offering that cup. Don't turn down something just because you don't understand it. Make sure you vet it, fully go through it look at all the details because this actually is a blessing in disguise and if you turn it away it's just going to take longer for it to turn back to you you've got three cups here but that cup is the holy grail so if you're going to give anything away give away the three here and take that holy grail energy it's worth far more now, the last but not least, we have the Queen of Cups. She's kind of bent on looking backwards in a little bit of melancholy. So don't let yourself dive into the old stories of, of the negativity. Don't revive it and give it strength and energy by telling it. Allow yourself to look at how far you've come since then, but don't let yourself dive into the memory of the old trauma. So... What a beautiful reading, my Geminis. Lots of financial abundance showing up. Lots of restoring energy showing up. And reminding you that you don't have to participate in other people's little melodrama. You just keep moving forward and let them fight it out amongst themselves. You have many things happening here. Aside from the fact that you also need to give yourself some attention and allow yourself to be restored before you start to proceed. But the universe is here and your, your goals are set out in front of you. and You have every capability of just nailing it. So you have beautiful, beautiful concepts here of lots of abundance and lots of restoring. So focus on that and allow yourself to receive it. Many blessings to you, my Gemini friends. I will see you in the middle of February, and until then, I send you lots of love, lots of peace, lots of healing, abundance, joy, and happiness to you all. Namaste, my friends.